welcome back to Fox Recon. It's a uh, Tuesday, it's a uh, 17.20 and basically I've just decided to myself get out there into the field and do some wild camping. Now today's going to be pretty interesting because the forecast is heavy rain, also thunder and what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to be going to a new woods where I've not been to before and hopefully everything is going to go sweet. Now I've got some new kit, I'll show you one of the items later on in this video. But basically as you can see I've got the new rucksack. Now this rucksack, it's a 70 litre which I got from Decathlon. And yeah you know I'm really liking it so far. The 100 litre rucksack which I got from Decathlon, basically it's nice, it's big, but perhaps it's a little bit too big for what I actually want. So like this one is ideal due to the fact that it is 70 litres. I'm going to go around this area because this grass is very wet and I've just, as you can see in the video, I've already got out of my waterproof clothing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the dry stuff for a bit and until I get to the camp yeah so okay I've got the new rucksack I also got new walking trainers now if you've been watching my videos in the previous videos I've been banging on about my combat 95 soldier army boots again they're great but the problem was they've been giving me blisters and then I thought to myself you know if I want to achieve my aims and goals with regards to wild camping then I'm going to have to depend on my kit hence why I bought these new waterproof hiking trainers again from Decathlon right guys so basically what I'm going to do now I'm going to go quiet and I'm going to catch you later on in the video Ta-ra! Right guys, so we're coming up to the halfway point, okay? This is basically halfway of where I want to be. Here, we have Kingslow Woods. So I believe that's Kingslow Woods. We're not camping in there. Instead, we're going to be heading over to the White Peak. We're currently in the Dark Peak. Now, I've actually never been this way before. I know I can go up here, follow that up to the top and then cut across. Or I could just go off area and go this way. So let's live once and let's go this way, okay? So let's go. Right, so I've got a new tent as well. I have the Yellowstone one-man tent. And because it's forecasting terrain today, then there'll be a good test for it, particularly where I'm going as well. Next point is I don't have any water. Yep, you've heard that, you've heard that correctly. I don't have any water with me, so I'm going to have to find an area where there's plenty of water because I need to get stuff to eat and stuff to drink. Now, have a look at this. I'm trying to think if I'm best going straight on or going up top, but I'm just going to go straight on. Now, the sun's came out at the minute, which is great, and honestly, you don't know how long I've wanted to get out of the house for. I don't think I've been out since the new year in the field and by god I'm gonna have a good day today a good night tonight hopefully now I might as well tell you now because there's definitely nobody about but I've got a new air pistol and oh uh, man that was pretty cool it's a Gamo P25 a low back pistol and guys yeah it is absolutely awesome now what it is lads, boys and girls, we're going to have to make a way over here because this way 
it's the wrong way. So we would put across this field in order to get to where we want to be. Now I think sun goes down at about half past eight. It's now coming up to our 20 to 6. So we best make tracks in order to get to the location where we want to be. Let's cut it from here and catch you when we're by bow stones. We're in nice slow woods. As you can see, this place would be an ideal place to wild camp. The problem is, this place is always heaving with walkers. People walking their dogs. Not only that, but in these woods you will also find red deer. You may even find some fellow deer, but that depends if the State of Lyme Park lets them out to roam this area. Onwards to Bowstones. Right people, so I don't know if this is a new part, what they built in Lyme Park, but have a look at this. I've never seen this before, but one thing I do know is that is where I'm getting my water from. So I will be drinking that water. So I'm going to see how far I can follow up here and see if that can take me to the top where I want to be crossing over. But that's good news. That is exactly where I'm going to get some water from. So now we're making our way up to Bowstones. Bowstones is basically just at the top of this hill and I can see that we've got some ladies up there. We have some cows. So it looks like we're going to be saying hello to them. Cool. They're not cows, they're bulls. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bulls. Now, so, is it safe for me to walk across seven bulls? I can see their horns, they're massive. Do you want to know something? I'm just going to have to risk it, aren't I? Hopefully, if I say hello, compliment their horns, you know, I won't be beat up. Oh, let's go. Hmm. You guys stay there so you can witness it. Now they see me. So what I'll do is I'll go by the digger. If you can't see it, there's a digger over there. Or should, instead of going through the path, I'll just go by the digger and then I'll go up that way. But oh, wow man, them guys will do damage to you. surprise them but to be honest and fairness they're super chilled look at that they're super chilled <laughs> I'm definitely a little bit muddy when they get up top here guys I really am expecting it to be really really muddy and I don't know is that true Cows or bulls lie down and sit down like this, does that mean it's going to rain? What I do know is it's forecasted to rain and it's forecasted to rain very heavily. Thanks guys, thank you for letting me pass without any hindrance. Much appreciate it. So yeah, that's all cool, let's get back on the path. So, they're happy. Showed no aggression towards me, so I'm happy too. But look at the size of them horns. Wow. Right. Onwards and upwards. Spawns Hill. We're making our way along Spawns Hill and we're going into the White Peak. Now, Spawns Hill, to me, I call Spawns Hill the backbone of Lime Park. It's like a spine it just runs across the back of Lime Park. And it's a lovely, lovely hill. Oh, it's me. 
people. Nice to have your own time. Some more drinking water. Pretty cold. My hands are cold. But I'm not really that cold, so I don't need to put my coat on yet. But it's good to see all the lambs with the mummies and daddies. Right guys, remember I told you about that mountain that one day I would like to go climb or walk up? It's called Shuttinlow. I'll spell that for you coming up now. Shuttinlow. And yeah, looks like a pyramid. And really, it's just something saying, just go, bloody get to the top of it. You know, I even feel like it's just like going over and doing it now. But you know what us British say? Have a plan and stick to it. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Take this hood off now. But yeah, it's very deceiving. When you're up there, when that wind's blowing, even though it's spring, you know, still so cold. It's still a very vicious wind. It can really trick you every now and again. Anyway, I'm going to just relax here for a minute and look at this splendid view because it's, it's magnificent, guys. Heel stones. Bloody started to heal stone. Getting a little bit wet now. Not going to bother getting into my waterproofs because basically I'm near where I want to be. So I'm going to be getting changed anyway once I'm there. So no point getting changed now. But yeah, bloody heel stones, man. But have a look at the difference in the weather. See how bright it is over there? And see how dark it is behind me? Crazy. Good old British weather. Alright guys, so we've got a problem. Basically, I've either A, broken my arm, or B, I've badly strained it. Basically, I was coming down the hill, and to be honest with you, I've been slipping all day, okay? And this time I slipped, and wherever way I went down, the backpack caught my arm, and I literally felt something inside my arm. Trist. And it started to rain, so I quickly set the tent up, and I thought, you know, perhaps the best thing to do would be just to rest and don't move the arm and stuff like that. And now I'm thinking like, you know, should I stay here tonight or should I try and pack up and go home? The problem is, if I pack up and go home, it means I'm going to be carrying like 70 litres worth of kit on 
a possible suspected broken arm or badly strained arm but if I get home then I could possibly go to the hospital but I really don't know what to do you know Guys, just an update. I've discharged myself from the hospital because what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the train station, going to get the train from Macclesfield to Manchester, then to Hazel Grove, and then if my arm's that bad, I'm going to go to Stepping Hill Hospital and let them have a look at it. But guys, absolute nightmare that that little accident. It's really put a damper on my adventure. Absolutely got it. But yeah, again, now I've got to walk about a mile and a half to Macclesfield train station. The number one tip, guys, for when you're wild camping, always make sure you've got money. Because now I've got to pay extra money to get back home. Because I'm in Macclesfield. Remember when I walked from the Dark Peak into the White Peak, I went into a totally different area. I thought the ambulance was going to take me to Stepping Hill Hospital. It didn't. It took me to Macclesfield. So now I've got to find my way back from Macclesfield into Hazel Grove. God, tell, tell you one thing, man, it's tough going. It's tough going. Just in time because it started to rain. Honestly, guys, this is an adventure that's teaching me so many lessons. So, what's the problem with mom? Basically, I can't lift my arm out straight to the side, so I can't do star jumps. That is how far I can lift my arm before it starts hurting. Honestly, to God, you know, again, as you know, I've discharged myself from hospital. I'm now on the third train to Stockport. I'm getting off at Stockport, connecting another train to Hazel Grove. From there, I'm going straight to Stepping Hill Hospital because I know something in there was not right. That clicked the the what how you say it, it's like my uh i don't know what you call it cartilages it's like the cartilages was just moving there's something happened in that arm that wasn't right and again you know it needs to be looked at but what a gutter you know this is my first adventure Welcome out in the welcome. field again and it's been brought to, brought to an end because of a an accident but what what a nightmare you know what i mean thank you to the people who helped me thank you to the great manchester police thank you to the ambulance service and again if they took me to macclesfield when i thought i was going to be heading to you know step in hill in stockport but you live and learn guys you live and learn anyway thank you for watching the video